this video we're going to be using first line shave frag out and the carbon titanium razor with the plus plate stay tuned hey there folks and welcome back for another video i'm your ocdb and thanks so much for joining me today i really appreciate it and as mentioned before today we're going to be using first line shave frag out which i got this one from maggard and i believe they still have it in stock i don't think it's in stock at the first line shave site i think it's sort of more of a uh, fall scent but anyway this particular soap is based on spice bomb extreme and it has a very very nice scent and there is our lather oh it's got a very nice scent let's put the notes for you right here we have lavender um, black pepper vanilla tobacco it comes together really really nicely scent strength right at that medium level this comes to you for 23 dollars for four ounces and that is 575 an ounce on our cost chart there which is pricey but i believe this was a um a charity soap that was uh, meant to help veterans um, or maybe wounded warriors. I can't remember the particular charity, but uh, you can read about it on First Line's uh, website when they bring it back in the fall, or you can just get it at Maggard's. Anyway, definitely pricey, but First Line Shave definitely makes a nice soap. It is a tallow-based soap. We'll show you the ingredients on the screen right there. And this one was soft, but certainly not too soft. I had no problems making a lather. I didn't find it to be finicky at all. All right, the razor for today is the carbon titanium. And you know, I have the stainless steel in the regular plate and this one has the plus plate. And this is only the second time I've used it. So we'll give it another go and see how things work. I'm gonna be using the treat blade today, which is made in Pakistan. And I do like these uh, double wrap uh, blades. And this particular one is uh, commonly referred to as the black beauty certainly a good looking blade in my opinion and on the wrapper of this it says do not leave in razor and I think that's good general advice and I've touched on that a few times um, since I've been here leaving the blade in your razor you know can lead to trouble so be careful because the blades especially carbon steel will rust quickly and transfer to your razor and you certainly don't want that so there we are loaded up and the plus plate has less blade exposure but a little more blade gap than the original plate and the gap on this is 0.88 and again this is titanium so you know it's going to be an expensive razor retails for 349 but um gee whiz i forgot the razor man carbon does offer afterpay which you can break it down into four payments if you like so that's nice might put this in the in the range of some folks who maybe don't have 350 laying around but you know, can pay on it every two weeks. Um, so anyway, let's get to it today. We have 24 hours of growth and this is just plain water and we're just misting. And by the way, the way I travel with my soaps is I put them in these little sample, sample containers. I scoop them out with these little cosmetic scoopers, which you can get on Amazon. I'll link both of these below. Anyway, I put them in the, uh, the sample containers and then I number it. And then I put the number on my note cards. That way I know uh, what's what and it makes it you know you can travel and I have quite a few soaps and it doesn't take up much space because they're all in these little containers of course you know I've ordered some tubs while I'm here so I have those to take back but I didn't bring a bunch of tubs with me all right let's get involved with the frag out and this is a very nice scent so if you're familiar with um with spice bomb then you'll know what this smells like and if not um again I gave you the notes there and you can get an idea it's definitely a spicy sort of scent. Warm would be the way I would characterize it. It's not your typical um, summer scent, but you know me. I don't adhere to those, uh, <laughs> you know, seasonal um, fragrance sort of guidelines. I just use whatever I want when I want because most importantly for me is enjoying things myself. And, you know, I want to be happy and enjoy scents when I want to enjoy them and uh, that's just the way I do it doesn't mean that's the right way to do it nor the way you should do it just do it however you like if you want to recognize uh, the seasonal sort of guidelines where it says you know in summer you wear citrus and then fall and winter generally you wear you know darker scents or you know scents that are considered fall scents go right ahead but me I just use what I want when I want and I'm happy doing it and you should do whatever makes you happy as well. That's really the key. Making sure you're getting maximum enjoyment out of any hobby. Um, but we don't like to, you know, 
put a lot of rules out there to get in the way of enjoyment. Oh man, that's nice. You could definitely feel a lot of blade on this razor. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? Cutting very, very nicely. These treat blades, by the way, are um, not very expensive. I think I got them for like $5.99 or $6.99 for 100 on Amazon. And I was like, I originally got them at the razor company just to try because I couldn't recall trying them. And then once I tried one, I ordered a hundred just to have them because I want to use them from time to time. And what a nice, this is an efficient shaver. Oh, that is nice. I'm digging this plus plate. Of course, I dig the original plate too, which I have on my stainless. And I know I've been saying this and I believe me, I will get to it. When I get home, can you hear that feedback? Lots of feedback. When I get home, I will definitely get in, get into some of these comparisons. I'll use my stainless versus uh, this one and uh, to see how they feel side by side. I really like the stainless. I think with the carbon, well, I'm taken by that feedback. Can you hear that? That's very nice. Um, whether you're using the stainless steel or titanium, it's a great razor. It feels really good in the hand. And uh, this plus plate definitely feels efficient. So if you have the standard and maybe you want a, a little more juice, a little more blade feel, you know, you can go for the plus plate. They also have a plus plus plate. Based on the way this one feels, I don't think the plus plus will be necessary for me. I think that one has even less exposure and more gap, if I'm not mistaken. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is plenty efficient enough. Get really good blade feel. Um, and it feels great in the hand. And I love this handle. I know some people don't, but for me, it's just, I don't know, it's longer, but it's perfect. It's another one of those long handles that I really like. And typically, I don't like long handles. But this one is one I just... Absolutely love. I love carbon razors generally. They are pricey. That's probably the only <clears throat> drawback. They're quite expensive, even if you get the stainless steel, but you are getting a, you know, a razor that will certainly last lifetimes, plural. Oh man, nice scent on this first line shave. Anyway, you'll, you're definitely getting a quality piece from carbon, so you can keep that in mind. And by the way, I only brought a certain amount of razors with me. I did bring a few, but you're seeing a lot of titanium and stuff because that's <laughs> I just grabbed it and brought it. When I get home, we'll definitely be, you know, getting out the old Merker 34C and getting some, you know, the Fatip and other, you know, budget razors to use, our Razor Rocks and all that. Um, but coming down here, I knew I was going to be down here a week or two, and I thought, let's just bring some of my, you know, stuff that I just really really enjoy my so-called nicer stuff just to enjoy it you know just to also to force me to uh, if i didn't bring too many razors it would force me to reuse them a few times you know uh, in close proximity to one another and i can really get a feel for it if left to my own devices i will sort of you know i try to rotate through my razors and i might not see this carbon TI again for a month, you know, or longer. And so bringing just a handful allowed me to sort of revisit some of them a few times. Man, what a nice soap this is. First line shave, they definitely make um, high quality products. I say this every time I use it. To me, the uh, formula of first line, I believe this is, I can't recall whether this was the 2.0 or 3.0 base, but, um, it's reminiscent of A&E Kaizen, sort of. Um, and again, this one, last I checked, was still available on um, on Maggard's. And so it will probably won't be in stock again at First Line Shave until the fall, because it is considered a fall scent. Oh, uh, man, that's nice. Just a beautiful, efficient razor. And actually, these treat blades... 
I've been enjoying those too. They feel plenty sharp enough. They feel smooth to me. Can you hear that? You never know what the camera's picking up audio in terms of audio. I can hear it quite distinctly, the uh, feedback. And I rather like it. The plus plate, definitely efficient. No question about it. The original plate is great too. And again, I sort of look forward to, uh, like I had a hair there. Um, I look forward to using the stainless, the regular plate side by side with the plus here to see, you know, just how different it feels. Uh, a lot of times I'll get questions on how does this razor compare to that razor? And that's really hard to answer off the top of your head from memory. For me, I pretty much have to use them side by side and then you can really feel it right then and there, the difference between the two. Hope that makes sense. I get lots of questions about how does this compare to that and you know, when you're going from memory, sometimes it's, you know, you can be wrong, your memory is off. But I tell you what, this is a nice shaver. As is this is the stainless. I think whichever way you go with carbon, you're really good on a, a fine razor. Again, the only downside, they're pricey. But uh, once you do get one, it's definitely an enjoyable razor to use. To be honest with you, when I first started seeing Carbon and I saw them from uh, Nate and Mel from BBS Live, I looked at the cost and I was like, eh, I don't, I don't think, I don't think so. And then Nate sent me uh, his Carbon to try, Low Sense Kelator, and I was like, oh, this is a good razor. <laughs> Nate, you just cost me some money. But um, originally, you know, I was looking at it like, man, just a little more than I want to pay. And of course, since then, you know, I've paid more for razors, don't get me wrong, but you know, even the stainless steel, the, the general starting point or the, not starting point, but the general cost for a stainless razor average used to be around $185-ish. And the carbon was of course over 200 for stainless. I think it was, around 250 unless you get a um, sort of a seconds version where there's just a little tiny defect. And you can get that a little cheaper, but the regular version was well over, over 200 and I thought, eh, I don't know if I'm feeling that. And honestly, I thought the handle would be too long. And it turns out once I tried Nate's, I was like, oh man, I gotta get one of these. And now I have two, <laughs> the stainless in this one. Um, and the plus plate, I really like it a lot. I might prefer it over the standard, but the standard is no slouch. The standard plate, I think, is gonna be good for many people. And I like the standard plate myself, so we won't know which we prefer until I use them side by side. But both are still efficient, smooth razors, and that is the key. And that, my friends, was an excellent shave today. Wow, we all right. Let me rinse and we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off came to the warm water rinse, remove the soap, and then we applied our Razor Rock alum, which you see here. It's kind of a nub now. I've used it for quite a long time. No stinging, so that was a super uh, smooth shave following the alum. We did a cool water rinse, and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel back there prior to applying the magic made by witches. There's Witch Hazel had an excellent shave today with first line shave frag out, which again, as of the date of this recording was still available at Magritte's, or you can check out first line shave in the fall for this one. It's a really nice scent, especially if you like Spice Bomb Extreme, you may very well like it. Really good quality stuff. Our razor today was phenomenal. This is the Carbon TI with the plus plate, very efficient, smooth shaver, and it was a good match for the treat uh, Black Beauty blades, which I enjoyed a lot. Of course, we used our AP Shave Co. brush with the old Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug, and we're going to finish things off today with Razor Rock Emperor, which doesn't smell anything like the soap, but I'm trying to sort of trying to use this up because I've had it for a long time, and I'm getting close to the end, so I figured let's let's bring a few aftershaves that I could use several times and try to 
make a dent in them. And this one, by the way, Emperor smells like Creed Aventus, which is nothing like Spice Bomb Extreme, but it smells great. And so, oh man, and just like that, I'm going to be off to the races and having a great shave. And I hope wherever you are, you have a great shave as well today. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.